self-proclaimed black woman. And she said that because she's the only black person in the office, she only dresses up as black characters for Halloween. But the funny thing is, the character she dressed up as wasn't even played by a black woman. It was played by a biracial woman. So, um, bye Felicia. This is literally a white woman. Like, like, what? You know, I don't know what she is claiming to be. Maybe she's claiming to be biracial or something. I'm not really sure what's going on here. But um, I'm going to assume that's the case. And I will say that, like, with, you know, actual biracial people, you can look at them and tell that they're biracial. Even if they have a skin color like this woman's, you can be like, okay, you clearly got, like, you know, some big lips or something. Something that, like... Something that tips you off, right? This is a white woman. This is literally a white woman. The only thing about her that's not 100% white is the fact that her hair has a little bit of texture to it. And I will tell you right now that some white people have big hair. Like, you know, that's that's the entire personality. Oh my gosh, dog diggity, I was oppressed because, you know, I had bigger hair than everyone. This is a literal white woman. She literally looks as white as Drake's son. You know how Drake's son, Drake the Rapper, his son is literally white because Drake is a Milano himself and he had a child with a cave woman, right? So the son is literally white. If you walk down the street and you see the son, you're going to be like, oh, that's that's a white boy, right? Same way with this woman. If you walk down the street and you see her, you're going to be like, oh, that's a white woman with some big hair. Like, there's nothing that even suggests she's biracial or anything like that. Like, and I'm just confused because when did these people start claiming to be black? Like, yo, not even a generation ago, if this woman was born the way she was, looking the way she do, she would pass into white society and never speak about her black grandparent or whoever, whatever, right? Like, when did these people become black? I'm so lost. Like, yo, I miss something. I keep telling y'all, there's no such thing as whites passing. If you wouldn't sit here and call me black passing, why would you call this white woman white passing? Like, y'all would never call me black passing. You'd be like, bitch, you're just black. Like, black passing is not a thing. You're just, you're just black. Yeah, y'all will look at literal white people and claim that they are white passing. Now, this is the thing. This is the thing, okay? Y'all will believe that you're biracial because you have a white parent and a black parent. So, you think that you're 50-50. But that's not the way that genetics works, right? And this is something that I have to acknowledge, right? Because um, I posted my DNA ancestry results, right? But I told you guys that I didn't take that test because that's not something I fucking care about. My sister took that test, right? But that poses a problem, okay? Even though my sister and I, we have the same parents, same mama, same daddy, we don't have the same DNA, okay? And that poses a problem because... I've been sharing her DNA results, okay? Because, I mean, we're full siblings, so we should have the same DNA, right? But that's not how it works. And let me explain what I mean, okay? And I'm explaining this because this is going to explain why somebody with a white parent and a black parent may not necessarily be 50% black and 50% white. They may care about white passing, a.k.a. white, right? It's the same reason why I can't use my sister's DNA results to say, Oh, this is my ancestry too. Okay, so let's let's get into this. Inside your body, you have a bunch of cells, right? Now, these cells that I'm going to talk about first are called somatic cells. And all that means is that these are the cells that are not your sex cells. So they're not sperm cells. They're not egg cells. They're everything else, right? So the cells in your stomach, for example, right? So these somatic cells, they undergo a type of replication called mitosis, okay? Excuse me, y'all know my voice is still messed up. It's called mitosis, mitosis. I'm sorry, my voice is, oh my God. But the thing about mitosis is it results in two identical daughter cells, okay? Because say it's a cell in my stomach dividing. Well, I want the same cell to be made. I don't want no random ass cell to pop up and it can't do what it's supposed to do. I want the same exact cell to be made during replication, right? 
So with these somatic cells undergo mitosis, they copy the DNA exactly, word for word, right? And that's why, okay, yeah, your stomach cells may die, of course, because the stomach has a lot of acid in it. So those cells or, or the lining of your stomach, they're constantly dying, right? But that's okay because they're constantly undergoing mitosis and making new cells, right? And those cells are the exact same cells because we underwent mitosis and we copied the DNA exactly, right? Now, your sex cells, aka your sperm cells and your egg cells, they do not undergo mitosis. They undergo a different form of replication called meiosis, right? And meiosis is different from mitosis because it has a special step in it, something called crossing over. During crossing over, the chromosomes, which are the things that carry on your DNA, they actually get really close to each other, so close to each other that they touch it, and then they exchange DNA. So imagine you walking down the street and you hold hands with somebody, right? And say like, oh, my hand has yellow nails and it's dark skin, right? And the other person say they have white skin and, um, you know, uh, pink nails or something. We hold hands and then we just swap hands, right? Like their hand becomes mine and my hand becomes theirs, right? So um, I'm actually going to show you all a little picture of it, you know, and you can see the chromosome is one color, but it has this little, you know, it has this little spot where it's a different color because it got that from the other chromosome that is that color, right? So you may be wondering, what is the point of crossing over? Like, why are we doing this? Well, crossing over increases genetic diversity, which is really good for any population, right? You may be wondering, what the heck is the point of genetic diversity, right? Like, what's the point? Well, just imagine that you have a small population of people, right? And they keep having kids with each other and keep having kids with each other, keep having kids with each other, generation after generation of generation, right? What happens after so long? They become inbred, right? And inbreeding is dangerous because, you know, it results in a lot of different medical abnormalities, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So not only do we have this phenomenon of crossing over to increase genetic diversity, but your sex cells actually only have half of the proper number of chromosomes, right? So in order to form a human, you have to have a egg cell and a sperm cell come together to, you know, create the embryo that has the complete set of chromosomes, right? That also increases genetic diversity because you hopefully have a completely different set of genes than, you know, the other parent, you know, if y'all not embryoing, good again, right? Now let's take a moment to think, what if we didn't have crossing over, okay? So if our sex cells didn't do this crossing over thing, okay, let's pretend your parents come together and they have a child, right? So the egg cell combines with the sperm cell, they have a child. But say they have a second child, the egg cell that they use the second time is going to be identical to the first egg cell because it underwent mitosis instead of meiosis, right? And the sperm cell they use the second time is going to be the exact same as the first sperm cell because it underwent mitosis instead of meiosis, right? You're going to end up with a clone of you for your sibling. You're going to be the exact same person, the exact same genes, right? Because you didn't do this crossing over. There was no swapping of genetic information or anything, right? So I said all this for a reason. There's a reason I shared all this, okay? You and your siblings do not have the exact same DNA. The reason you're not an exact clone of your sibling is because your parents' sperm and egg cells are different. So even though you have the same parents, there's different DNA in each sperm and egg cell, right? That's why it makes no sense for me to show you all my sister's DNA results as mine. Because even though we have the same parents, there's different DNA because of that crossing over event, right? And that is why somebody who has a black parent and a white parent may not necessarily be biracial. They may be more white than black because of that crossing over event. That's why you have people who claim to be white passing, but are actually just fucking white because of that crossing over event.